Hello everyone, thank you for turning on the blue lights. Now, Generations The Legacy, Latoya McKenney loses her signature dreadlocks after Bay allegedly attacked her. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the TV show star was known to be happily married to Lebo Hang Gezo, but their relationship took a sour turn. Now, the Sunday World reported that Latoya was allegedly badly bitten by her wife in July 2023. The couple was well known after their marital union thanks to Latoya's sweet social media post about Lebo Hang. The couple is now separated and Latoya needed a police escort to fetch items from her home with Lebu in Mutlakeng, Johannesburg. Now the actress packed up after her life partner allegedly assaulted her, which resulted in Latoya having to cut her dreadlocks, according to the Sunday World. Now on Instagram, Latoya deputed her fresh cut and posted this photo with this caption. August is for alignment, for awakening for abundance, achievement, adaptability, admiration, amusement, and restoration. There we have it, Mzanzi. According to Latoya Makele, she had to cut her signature dreadlocks simply because she was just aligning something and restoring something in her. You know what I mean. Now, fans of Latoya showed their support on social media. Many wrote that they felt for Latoya on Twitter and Facebook. Some people commented on a post by entertainment blogger Musa Kaula, and one user wrote, Latoya deserves better. Quit that trash, Latoya. And the next person wrote, Woman beating another woman, it's also uh, falls under GBV. Mm. Now another post followed. These two are so toxic. Every few months it's something new. Mm. Well, we didn't know that. All right, now we know. And the next comment reads, So Lebo is a wife beater also. Didn't Latoya's father say he was happy she was marrying a woman because men are trash and they were going to abuse her daughter? Now speaking of Latoya's father who is Blondie McKenna, Back in 2021, Latoya also reported that uh, she was in an abusive relationship with uh, her ex-boyfriend, whom uh, she's sharing a child with, and she wrote this. I'm really struggling to come to terms with what happened. So basically, in my lifetime, a man called Tepo Lewis Tikovi used to assault me in a relationship. I left him. He came to my home and demanded to see me and talk to me. And my father refused and he physically assaulted my father. Now he has assaulted my wife. All three of us suffered abuse at the hands of one man. And he's still freely roaming the streets. Wanyela, this guy is true. I am angry and don't feel protected by the law. Now, ladies and gentlemen, when it comes to issues of relationships, it seems like Latoya McKenna is not really that lucky because back in 2021, she was abused by a man she was in a relationship with. They happened to have a baby together, but Latoya McKenna chose to leave the relationship. And then now in her new relationship, she's also getting them beatings. You know what I mean? So she's not really that lucky. But then, you know what? Everything is on Lula Sisi. We are very sorry of what had happened uh, to you. Nobody deserves to be abused. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, do leave your comment letting me know what you think about this. Otherwise, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and thank you for listening.